Good morning, folks. Happy Monday. And happy Dragon Quest Day, question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, more Dragon Quest Eight today. If I can figure out where the plot is, I'll do more of it. But if not, I'll probably just try to level grind and get some money to get the gear I got in the new place. Uh, I think the story's supposed to be in. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll be doing today. So, settle in for a nice, mostly chill time, unless I get dicked over by the AI, which is possible. <laughs> anyway, before we begin, still I'm still fundraising to help my friend Hachiko get back on his feet. I have a, a GoFundMe link below my stream. I have the GoFundMe link on my layout. <laughs> And um, I have a chat bot that shares it every 30 minutes or so as well. The chat bot also shares my Discord if you'd like to have a more a more readily source of when I'm going live because I do my best to post to go live there and Twitch is not always very reliable in doing that. So either way, any support you can give to Hotchko via his GoFundMe would be greatly appreciated. So, let's see. There we are. And our big wiggly glory. <clears throat> there we go. I don't know how I got it to show up so quick today, but it's here. We're here. <laughs> My prayers have been answered. <laughs> Yo, join us again, Yangus. May the great shepherdess continue to watch over you. Gordon Bennett. That weren't easy, eh? But now look at us, with our very own ship and everything. Sweet as a nut. That dual Megas again nowhere to hide now, or you're into will track him down. Okay, fine. Y'all aren't, aren't very helpful. <laughs> Will they be more helpful outside? No ship, no sea. It's as if they never existed. That guy, Ishmari. Where do you think he came from? Okay, we're pro. Is there always a guy here? They're partners! <clears throat> anyway, um, I guess we're gonna go to um, uh, Argonia. Let's see if maybe talking to them in there does anything. Maybe I'll just run around and talk to people, because I know there's something with the prince here. Like, he's, like, trying to, like, hide or run away or something. Uh, 
Uh, Lorenzo! Lorenzo! <laughs> yeah, arranged marriages are gross. <clears throat> well, we currently don't have much more of a lead than what we had before. And we can't go in here. Hmm. Well, my other option is to, um, try to try at night, which I guess I'll do. See if there's any changes to town at night. Certainly won't be the first Dragon Quest to do that. Three, three had, three had a really big uh, habit of doing it at some point. At points. Oh damn it! I did overnight, not until night. God damn it! <laughs> I was like, I was wondering, I was like, wait, why the, why the window, window still lit up? I have no concept of time. There we go. Oh no, there's still definitely dudes here. I do vaguely remember them saying something about like a, uh, like a casino or something that he liked to maybe go to. So I guess we could try, we could try finding where that is. Oh well, there we go. Northwest of here, famous sports casino, Baccarat, it's called. So we, I guess we I guess that's our next destination. PR in here is pretty okay, so I don't really mind having, traveling around to get where we need to go. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one again. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna check the alchemy pot before we. Uh, Alright, 
almost get that going. Damn it! I keep pressing the wrong button. I have to remember the controls like every single time I play this game. <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't have very complicated controls. Ooh, ghouls. Probably good XP, but they probably hit hard. Yep, that they do. Oh, come on, really? Are you serious right now? She's probably gonna die anyway, but like, ugh. Are you kidding me? Why? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Well. <laughs> just pick, just gently pick her up and then just drop her right back down. These enemies are, these enemies suck. I'll tell you that. Please don't kill her immediately. Okay, I think they're targeting him instead. Holy shit! Oh, they're back at it. <clears throat> oh no, she's dead. She's she's dead. Oh no, she's not dead. <laughs> God damn it. These enemies are like, mmm, that's a that's a nice booty hole you got there, Jessica. There's probably some there's probably plenty of fans that also think the same thing. Um anyway, um heal. Heal! Be <laughs> God damn it. Why? Why are enemies like that in this game? We're like, oh, let's let's all pile on this the weakest character. Actually, now that I know that those enemies are like that, I can probably just have like her defend. Until she gets like a buff or two to defense and then fight like normal, I guess. That does make things a little more complicated in the, the whole battle parameters. Ooh, shades. Spooky.
Kablam! You're fired! 69 gold coins. As usual, all you Zingus's heals up uh, first. That seems like it's the way we go. To try to get to this uh, other city casino place. Ugh. What does this say? Ah, Northern Checkpoint. Let's go. <clears throat> uh oh, Lump Wizards. <clears throat> yeah, bonk. I'm gonna my coffee while they're, these are getting rough housed. ran away. <clears throat> oh, enemies might get a little harder going over here. Uh, well, these are from the lost area too, so. More HP. He's, he's a fucking tank. Four. Ooh. That's more skill points than he's gotten in a while. So hopefully as he's getting higher level now, the skill points are going to go up. Yeah, Boom's easily her best spell now. We might kill one, there we go. No idea why these things run like that. It's just weird. Because surely we're not like overly strong to the point where they would want to run away, but... Oh no. Lethal armor. Uh oh.
Oh, we should be able to kill this last one. Onward! <laughs> Go ahead and execute the, the plan I was talking about with uh, Jessica. Because they're gonna attack her and probably only her. Unless they do that. Fucking jerk asses. Yep, nope. They're gonna definitely just try to like. attack her. Hello, Sordio Ventus. Good morning. We are playing Dragon Quest VIII, and I am trying to find the uh, casino town. These enemies have a lot, these uh, ghoul enemies have a lot of HP for the area. program to attack the person with the lowest HP which is Jessica so I had to uh, adjust my uh, my combat tactics when getting into a group with these but the first time they all piled her and she died <laughs> like instantly <laughs> okay is that a, is that a prevent uh, moves with blow kiss? Looks like it, but we're, we're doing catechist, not blow kiss. That's a different kiss! <laughs> Pew! Oh, good dodge, idiot. <laughs> Got him. How is your day going? How's your day going so far, Ventus? Are you get, are you getting ready for work? I think the last time. I'm, oh no! Well, hopefully you get better soon. Ooh, what's what's going on here? Did I kind of let us through? Halt, where do you think you're going? You didn't really think we'd let out a bunch of flea bit and elbow gotten ne'er do wells weirdos like you threw, did you? Scram. An odd bunch. Mind your manners. What's odd about us, eh? Come on then, out with it, if you dare. I don't care what you say, I'm not letting you through. I wasn't going to single anyone out, but you look at your look at your driver. Who, me? You're the worst one. You look just like a monster if you ask me. You hardly have grounds for complaint, traveling around with a man that looks like a monster. I get out here before I change my mind. Well, I guess we can't go this way either. Um. Hmm. Well, shit. Where do I go? <laughs> I was thinking I'd have to go this way. Let's see if they have anything to say. Uh, 
That didn't come out quite right. We won't be helping ourselves if we cause a stir here. We'd be foolish to try and force our way through. And he's gonna be upset. How dare he! Calling me a monster to my face? The impertinence of it. Yeah, this is Dragon Quest 8, Journey of the Cursed King, and the Cursed King is the little green dude. <laughs> and his daughter, the horse. They were cursed by an evil clown. <laughs> oh boy. These look like they're gonna be fun. Maybe they won't be that bad. Oh, that was an interesting attack. <clears throat> I might look up where I need to go after this, because I was under the impression I was going to have to go north through here to get to um, this uh, casino town, because that's where the prince, if the prince has run off somewhere, that's probably where they ran off to, but there's, I'm running into some roadblocks. I, I wanted to not use guides for this game, but some parts of it are making it a little uh, harder to do that. Good old JRPGs just making you have to, like, either do long division to figure out where the fuck to go. Yeah, no way in hell is I gonna be getting to this place on foot. Especially since this place is blocked off. We're gonna have to take a boat and sail all the way around the continent, it looks like. Which might mean we get our asses fucking clapped a little by sea, the, sea, the sea creatures. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get your ass clapped a little by the, the sea creatures, I guess. Uh, so let's. Let's look at this desert chapel and try to get a, a level or two. But on, but on that note, on that note Ventus, I hope you, I hope you're able to feel better soon, because fever is not fun. Hopefully you're able to stay home and rest up. Cause yeah, like that shit's not fun to deal with. Uh, 
mob has to level up soon. Angela's not far, and Jessica's not far. So like about six, like 6.5k XP, and we'll, we'll get three level ups. So. I guess let's see how the ocean treats us. I'm sure we're eventually supposed to come to the desert, but right now, we need to go to Baccarat. Um, cast the caster from Tales of uh, Legendia would say that when she was trying to cast and got hit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And one of one of my friends um, combed through the actual like ISO and and got that voice line out of it, so I was really happy. I was like, you know what? We're definitely definitely making that a, a sound alert. <laughs> Oh god, it's a lot of enemies. Um, well, we're, we're trying to we're gonna try to kill the birds first because they're fucking awful. Okay, the birds are dead. I thought they were going to cause more of a problem than they did. Yeah, J Jessica getting boom was massive to our grinding abilities, because, yeah. Ooh, pretty strong medicine, okay. Because previously we were using bang, and that just does not have enough <laughs> have enough power to it. Uh, alright. My alchemy pop finish, I can't remember if I checked it or not. Yeah. 
Yeah, if I end up like losing my save or something somehow for this game, I would be I would 100 percent be playing the 3DS version instead because I think it's got like just quality of life stuff to it. That this old ass version just couldn't use. All right, the enemies here aren't too bad. I was I was kind of worried I was gonna get my ass clapped by some of the big ass uh, squids that I found elsewhere. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> That's a lot of enemies, but those blue squids are the, the base form of the squid monster, so it's not as bad. I'm still gonna come up anyway. Because they can't attack twice. Thankfully, they picked the people that are supposed to get attacked. Can I get to where I want to go from here? Looks like the answer might be yes, but I might have just stepped into a place where there's some hard enemies that I'm not prepared for. Oh! Well, these are new enemies at the very least. Not great XP, but not bad either.
All right, up this way. Uh-oh, bomb boulder. <laughs> Fucker. Uh oh. XP happened a little faster than I was expecting. Five skill points, okay. Oh, boomerang! Fine. Courage, instead. And the enemies in here aren't, like, overwhelming, but they are, uh, a little strong. So, we're, uh, gonna heal after every fight. Oh, it's an orc. Hi. Snoot, snoot. <laughs> Pavlovian responds when the, the fucking stupid Aqui pot goes off. It's like, ding up! Dinner's done! <laughs> Really need a new boomerang for hero there. It's 
So I don't know if this place I'm going to is the town or if this is just like one of those like hilltop cabin places. Probably one, probably the latter, but that's okay. It's not like a waste of time most, for the most part. Clean sweep, nice. Oh, is this the town? Um, maybe? <laughs> it's like a bike rack, but for like your horse, <laughs> I guess. No, oh, that's locked. I guess let's talk to this person. I'm suspecting this is our cast, our uh, casino. Purr, purr. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, sorry. Just a bit of Qatar. Jesus Christ. How's it? Welcome to Chateau Felix. Or maybe not. Residence of the great Cybercat father, Master Felix. My name's Tom. I'm Master Felix's helper. Are you here to see him? <coughs> Excuse me. I guess me? this is something else. <laughs> Master Felix is a busy man. He hasn't got time to meet any old thing the cat dragged in. I'll have to ask you some questions. If you can prove you're a top cat, I'll let you in just now. Question number one. It's late, and it's raining cats and dogs. You're hurrying home. When you hear a little kitten meowing, it's right soaking wet. Good farm spot in the top right corner of the side of the map. Okay, cool. I'll try to, I'll try to keep that in mind when we get around to getting over there. But everyone in your house really hates cats. So what do you do with the kitten? Ahem. Question number two. You're the king's servant. You go out hunting with the king, but you don't manage to find any prey. Then... You find a tiger in a trap in the woods. The king is some way off and hasn't noticed the tiger yet. So, what do you do? Uh -huh. I'm picking all the things that somebody that a cat would probably enjoy. And <laughs> question number three. You are an explorer. Along your travels, you're attacked by a great cyber cat. You manage to overpower the cat, but it looks at you as if it wants to become your friend and travel with you. So, what do you do? Uh -huh. And now, to let the cat out of the bag, rest up and get well. You did. Perfect. You've proved that you're the cat's whiskers. A real hip cat. <coughs> you have permission to see Master Felix. Yeah, I guess this is something completely different than what we were looking for. I say, someone other than Tom for once. The old boy doesn't often let people in, you know. You call me a rather busy time, I'm afraid. I'll be with you in a jiffy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
He's doing imp important cat business. There. I think I'll take a breather for a while. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, you're an explorer, eh? I'm Felix. Well, well, Tom's really got an eye for people. Only lets decent chaps through, you know. Yes, you might just be able to assist me. There's a little undertaking I need some help with. Allow me to explain. It's an old chum of mine, you see. Gorn and got himself lost, would you believe? Normally, I'd go and help the old bean out myself, of course. But as you can see, I, I've got a lot on my plate just at the bow. That's where you come in. I'd like you to go and give the old bean a bit of assistance. If you don't mind, that is. Well, what do you say? Will you help? Capital! Right, I'll tell you what you need to do then. Around these parts, there are four great Sabercat statues. You might have seen one of them on your way over here. Actually, no, I didn't. I wasn't paying that much attention, I guess. They all point to the same place. There's a strange tree there that's only visible at dawn. And that's precisely where the old chap is, you see. All I need you to do is go there and give him this. He's a clever old bean. Just give him that and he'll know what to do. Once you've given it to him, come back and pay me a visit. I'll have a little token of appreciation for you. If you leave here and head up the hill, you'll get a view of a couple of the Saber Cat statues. It's worth taking a look before you go off exploring. Ah! Golly! I nearly forgot. I suppose you've never ridden a great Saber Cat before, eh? Well, what? this will be a fine chance. Speak to Tom. He'll give you what you need. Give the old speed a bit of a boost, what? Tom will explain the rest. That fucking rules. Hello, kitty. Big kitty. You know, I came I, I came here mistakenly, but maybe it was a good mistake. Because I guess now we might be able to ride a, a fucking big ass saber cat around. Which would be fucking kick ass. <coughs> Wasn't Master Felix inside? What? Master Felix asked you a favor? Ah. <gasps> He must think you're the cat's pajamas <laughs> if he gave you the go-ahead to ride on one of his great saber cats. <gasps> great! I was right to let you in. I could tell you were a hip cat. Okay, so, are you ready to get on? That's it. No pain, no gain. <laughs> oh, yeah, looking smart, bro. Okay, let me tell you the basics about riding a great saber cat. I love the freaking overworld theme medley with the, like just being different. That's that's great. When you're riding one of these cats, you can go a lot quicker than you would on foot, but you can't go further. You can just go to all the same places faster. Some people get that wrong, so I wanted to explain. If you get off and accidentally lose your cat, come back and see me. I'll lend you a cat as many times as you like. That's it. You're ready to go. Good luck. Look at this handsome kitty. Oh jeez, that that's really fast! <laughs> Holy shit!
This rolls. This actually rule, rules really fucking hard. The kitty doesn't want to come with us to the casino. I guess this is where I'm supposed to say, Welcome to, to Baccarat, home of the world's biggest casino. But the casino is closed right now and it isn't going to reopen anytime soon. Oh, well. The day before the casino shut down, a burglar broke into the Goldings Mansion. Golding has been holed up ever since. I wonder if he's been hurt during the break-in. I don't know, but you know what? What you know what has been hurt? Property. Property. <laughs> is this the church? Probably. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a combo shop. So that's worse than what we have. We probably meant to come here literally um, after the West Continent, but I was scared, so we went somewhere else. Cause yeah, this stuff is not worth our time. That might be, but I'll have to look at uh, Argonia. first. What do we have here? An axe dude. Domegus, where did you hear that name? Are you in league with them scoundrels? No, I suppose you wouldn't be. Sorry, it's just that we're all on the edge after breaking at Gilding's mansion. Domegus did it. Ooh, mini metal, mini metal, mini metal. <laughs> yeah, any other cool swag in here for me to steal? Hmm. Why is the casino closed? Well, it's because cash and car. Er, I mean, Golding. It's because Golding ordered it. I'm sure he thought long and hard about it, too. Oh, well, I didn't mean to open it twice. Oh, this place sells these, which is kind of cool. They're a bit better than the strong medicines, but they obviously cost, you know, gold, so. We're not going in there anytime soon. Thank you. 
Tips for Assassins. There are many kinds of weapons in the world, but it goes without saying that the most famous one in the Assassin's Armory is the Assassin's Dagger. They're quite easy to make by combining a sharp dagger with something poisonous. I'm not- I, I mean, I, I kind of get it. This is the first game that had alchemy, I think. But, like, it's kind of annoying how everything's, like, cryptic like that. When DQ and I will just go out straight out and just tell you how to make it. <laughs> Okay, inheritance. Oh. I saw some of Golding's men head out in town in full battle gear a while ago. They left in the dead of night, and they looked like they were out for blood. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We might we might have to sleep at the end now. I have a friend who works as one of the Golding family's bodyguards. He just dropped by to pay me a visit. He said he was leaving for some place called the Dark Ruins, but no matter how hard I pressed, he wouldn't tell me why. Hmm, where are Dark Ruins? I don't have a clue. Maybe you should ask around in the pub in the hotel basement. Well, that's oddly specific. Oh, it's bread. Let's get this bread. Or maybe it's bread. At least one of those is probably bread. <laughs> Magic of cheese. Hello, 3Gs. Welcome. Mobus is doing fairly okay today. I got up a little earlier, took a shower before stream. And, yeah. Self-care and all that. Magic cheese. <laughs> and I kind of finally found out where I was supposed to go. I had to look it up. Because I knew where, but not like where this place was. Because in typical JRPG fashion, they just kind of like let you flounder around a little bit. Which is fine if it's like a little a little more obvious where you're supposed to go as opposed to like not. But this is an older JRPG, so it's kind of a flounder around and make you work for it kind of thing. Well, hello. I'm sorry, but we finished serving for the day. What? You're looking for someone? That's the case. I recommend talking to the bartender in the hotel pub. He knows all sorts of things. Omega say that's an odd name for her for that's an odd name for you. Why are you after him? What he's a murderer? Well I'll be. So this is just like a, a restaurant, it looks like. Maybe? I don't know. How is 3G's today? <laughs> or is it 3GS? I, I, I have not asked, and I probably should have, like, a while ago. <laughs> the strange gesture showed up the night before the casino got shut down. He was walking around muttering, what a pity, what a pity. Really gave me a case of the willies. A case of the willies. Alright, well. This is Mr. Golding's mansion. I'm afraid Mr. Golding isn't seeing visitors at the moment. Please come again some other time. Is this the hotel? But I guess it would be a pretty posh hotel if it's like a casino town. They tend to have pretty fancy hotels. Well, hello there, other person. Are you a bank? They are the gold bank.
Don't mind me, just uh, bar just borrowing whatever was in this chest. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. Fifteen defense. If I got something that just gives defense. Oh, that gives wisdom. I should probably hold on to that. Hmm. Oh no, that's a lot. That's a lot of defense. Oh, uh, let's see. That's like five wisdom. Well, this is probably more important, <laughs> honestly. But that was a that was a good find. Sorry, kiddo. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, thanks. They they really they they're really committed to the bit. Ooh, more men, another mini med. There's been like three in this town. A non gambler's guide to Baccarat. One here is Baccarat. One that inev inevitably thinks of casinos. But don't be fooled. There's more to this charming little town than gambling. And the town's secret treasure is none other than the Golding family mansion. Golding is famed as a connoisseur of the fine and folk arts. His spectacular collection is a must-see for any visitor. Once you've had your fill of the casino, take a breather at the at the mansion. Well, maybe not now because Dual Magus probably broke in there and killed someone, like the, like the dad or whatever. Hey, did you hear news? We we just had a murder in the town. I don't know what is the world coming to. Oh, yeah, there's a murder. Hello, Miss da Miss Dancer. Did you hear what happened at the mansion? They're saying a burglar broke in. I suppose when you're a big casino owner like Golding, you're a bit of a target for burglars and thieves. Oh, well, let's see if there's any other goodies to acquire in this hotel. This is a big-ass hotel. Jeez. Does it have another wing? Oh, wait. Okay, so tell me what happened the other day. The suspense is killing me! All right, all right already. But you've got to keep this under your hat, okay? This is between you and me. Why are they having this conversation, like, in the fucking hallway? Hmm. I swear I won't say a word. We barmen know when to keep our mouths shut. By the goddess, lower your voice. I assume you've heard about Mr. Golding's house being burgled. Well, the fact is, Mr. Golding was murdered during the robbery. I knew it. Murdered? <gasps> You mean Mr. Golding is dead? I told you to keep it down. That's why nobody's seen hide in the hair of him recently. He isn't among the living anymore. But Mr. Golding was such a big man. You're trying to tell me he was killed by a random burglar? Well, the really weird thing about it was that the burglar was apparently dressed as a jester. I didn't see him myself, mind you, but that's what they say. A jester, huh? A strange one, this burglar. Seems he broke in, killed Mr. Golding, and left. He didn't take anything valuable. From the looks of it, he was after Mr. Golding's life, not his gold. I also heard that Cash and Carrie have ordered some men to find the jester and avenge their father's death. By the goddess, this is big. Oh, I won't tell a soul. You can count. Good on thing, or good thing, heroes good at eavesdropping, being a castle guard. It's kind of like what they do. To my customers, see you later. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I did not see you standing there. <gasps> did you did you hear what we were talking about? Oh. Forgive me for the strange question. A slip of the tongue. <laughs> I'd better get back to work. <laughs> well, what's up, dude? Uh, 
Ah, that's the door to, to the casino. Directly from the hotel? I, I can respect that. That's just like smart uh, building. So people can like get drunk as shit in the casino. And then like stagger off to their hotel room. It's like it's like MFF. If you have a hotel room in the in the in the freaking convention center place. You just like get drunk as shit and then stumble around the convention looking at all the furry animal people. <laughs> Been there done that. <laughs> Well, damn, these rooms have their own bathrooms, even? Well, I guess a tub. I guess they keep, I guess they take a shit in this bucket. <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that's a nice bit of, a little bit of extra money. Considering that's one of the pieces of gear sold in this town. Alright, so I already checked the upstairs. What do we have back? Oh, I already went back here, I think. Yeah, I already went back here. Uh, we'll check this again anyway. Because I might have missed it. Oh, no, I didn't miss that. Alright, cool. Well, now we get to go to the basement. <laughs> Fucking casino music in Dragon Quest is so good. Oh, the bunny girls are dancing. No, oh, no, oh, let's uh, <laughs> let's not stare too hard at the bunny girls. They're just trying. They're just having a good time. Woo! The bartender's finally back. I thought he'd be tucking to that friend of his at the hotel forever. Like, ten people were looking for him while he was gone, because he's the person to talk to if you need to know something. Vivian? Hello. I am a not- I am not- um, I am not a mean to bunny girl propaganda. Golding always used to say it to us, after he'd had a few. As long as I'm alive, I promise the world will stay at peace. Oh god. Well. Hmm, you heard everything we're talking about upstairs? What? Look, cut me some slack and don't tell anyone, okay? If the word gets around, I'll be in deep. Mm hmm. Let me pose you a deal. Keep your mouth shut and I promise to tell you what I know. What do you say? Let me fill you in what I know. Cash and Carrie sent the posse after men, the man who killed their father. They want revenge. I heard they headed straight for some island north of Baccarat. Or does there's some ruins on the island. It'd make a perfect hideout. Hmm, we can't be absolutely sure if it was Domegas who killed Golding, but I'm quite sure we can be sure enough to be sure. Cool, blimey! Well, hey, where did he come from, anyway? I, I wasn't sure if he was with us or not. Why don't we go and look, take a look at those ruins on the island in the north? Maybe we'll be able to find some kind of clue. Oh, bartender's gone. Oh, alright. Spent all the money I put aside for the casino here into the pub instead. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I broke out of the clink. This bunny bunny show is worth it. Oh. Golden used to come and watch bunny girl shows all the time, but he hasn't showed up in a while. I wonder if the rumors about him getting hurt and robbery are true. Yeah, hurt, you could say that. Someone tell that moron to get down in front. I can't see the stage. Oh, merciful goddess, pardon my sin. I was so entranced by these lovely ladies, I forgot to offer my daily prayer. When he said bunny girl show, I thought he meant a rabbit raising seminar for women, not this tawdry excuse for entertainment. I really want to get even closer to the stage, but I've got a reputation to uphold. Keep it in your pants, dude. Oh, these luscious late young thighs. Goddess, help me. My life is passing before my eyes. As as you do. Young ladies really jiggle all over when they start to dance. It's uh, fascinating. Yeah, you could say that. I always come here to unwind after a hard day's work. Come on, Xantha. 
Shake that thing. Jesus Christ. Well, let's, um... Keep conversing. Come on. Come on up. There's plenty for everyone. Just look at the size of them. I want to dive in and... Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's this dude here? What do you think? I'd love for the chance to see Xantha, Xenia, and, Zil and Xylia. <laughs> Together. Just the sight of them warms my old bones. I'm sure it warms a certain old bone. Well, let's go, let's go raid the frickin' dressing room or whatever. Oh, when will I get my big break? I tried out to I, I tried out to be Simpleton's first ever bunny girl, but I couldn't time the kicks right and kept falling off the stage. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny. Uh, ooh, a garter. A bunny ooh, a bunny tail, that's actually good. Got a mini metal for me? No. Well, alright. Let's very cautiously try to talk to the bunny girls. Hey, I'm Xenia. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. <laughs> Just gonna help yourself, huh? No problem. But remember, don't touch the merchandise. Hee hee hee. Sir, please turn to your seat. You're blocking the other customer's view. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so... Bunny girl... Shows aside, we've gotta go to the north- the island north of here. <laughs> to, um, find Dual Magus, because that's almost certainly where we would need to be going for this. I don't think I actually went into the church. Force of habit. <laughs> I tend to avoid churches in real life, too. Wakey, wakey. Gordon looks like a bear man, but he's actually quite kind-hearted. He took in two children who'd been abandoned at the church and raised them as his own. Well, that's probably part of why he was murdered, because, um, he's just a good, cool dude, and it seems to be a trend with Duel Magus, just killing cool people. Probably because he's like, I wish I was cool. Everyone thought I was a very uncool clown, and now I will murder them. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go to both these places before Argonia. Whoopsie. I'm guessing the desert place in the desert is going to be where the Argonia quest sends us to, so. Um. Apparently we're supposed to go to Neos before Baccarat, but Neos has better gear than Baccarat, so it's kind of confusing. Um. Let's go to Argonia. And see if we can buy any of the gear there, because some of the gear is better. Mostly armor. I guess we'll just go rest at the end while we're here. I do this kind of crap all the time in Dragon Quest games. I'll go to places I'm not meant to be yet and grind up and get gear there, and then I'll go back and find where I'm supposed to actually be at, and then the gear will be, like, way worse there, and then, yeah. It's it's a habit. I, I did it in DQ3 and pretty much every other Dragon Quest game I've played. <clears throat> like, especially this silver mail, that's gonna be huge for Angela. That's like a massive boost in defense. That's who's getting it first, by the way, is fucking Angelo. And we just spent money on these fucking cloaks of evasion, too. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. You're mad. Uh This battle axe was a little more, a little less expensive for more bonuses. I would probably get that. 
I mean, it's still worth getting, but... Like, defensive stuff is probably more my... 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 My goal. Especially that. That's a, a nice boost in defenses for Jessica. Mostly because she just hasn't had a good hair piece other than the headband she started with until now. Yeah, getting these two better gear was very important. Funny enough, after this, they'll both be at the same, the same defense value. It, this cloak of evasion is really nice, but I think the defense points would probably be nicer because she's not really dodging nearly as much as it would lead to be. Oh, I forgot we, we got uh, this dancer's costume we can sell too. This turban. I want to hold on to this Templar sword because we found it in uh, Tro Castle Trodane, and I want to hold on to it in case we need it for some reason. We're just kind of like liquidating all of our other shit. Now we just have been kind of collecting here and there. Okay, now I'll definitely be able to uh, sell Jessica's uh, Cloak of Evasion to get um, that robe. And we'll do spell damage that she takes by two thirds. Which is pretty sizable because she just doesn't have a lot of HP. Alright, she got a big ass boost in survivability from he, this and this. Okay, the only other thing I could really want to buy would be this battle axe. So we can see if we can afford it. Well, 1300 is there, but we need a, a bit more back for it to be worth our time. Don't really care about that. Mm, I could probably I could probably just sell these too. Monster hide, um... <sighs> Strong antidote, we'll probably sell that, because that's worth a decent amount, too. My guess is that's a strong medicine and an antidote, but I'd have to look at the, like, alchemy, uh, guide. Okay, we're gonna sell one of these from everyone if necessary. Because I have not used them whatsoever. I 
I will keep that on Yangus though. As a like a very like big emergency kind of deal. Alright, it'll be 3700. We're a little shy. I'm not sure how much more of this stuff I want to sell. I don't really care about the uh, making cheese. I say now, as I probably will want to make it later. Like, it might be more important later or some shit, but whatever. I found you can buy these, uh, these molds or whatever. Anyway, so. Hold on to one of these iron nails in case I'm, they are useful for something. Same thing with the beast hide. Not selling the seeds, not selling either of these, because someone's probably going to get this bunny tail for the, the, the agility. It'll probably be Mobis, honestly. That being, having Hero be a little faster would be nice. Hmm. How much is this axe again? 4,300? I think we need like 300 more gold from somewhere. So we'll sell more of these from people. Alright, I think we have enough. So let's sell Yangus' Iron Axe and get the Battle Axe. That's not much, but hey, that's all the gear that we wanted to buy here. Other than the Silver Mail from Abyss. Well, we can come back for that, though. Like, once we have, uh, more, uh, money. Granted, we can go get that money now. I might go try to grind a little bit of money, actually, because we know where we're supposed to go. So, it's, it's less of a mystery of, like, where the story is. So we can go to Neos and try to grind out some more money from the gold golems. We're a little, we're a little stronger. A little tankier. God, those fuckers are fast. Yeah, I'm gonna get that uh, get that bunny tail to Mobus there. It's only two agility, and like I think DQ9 has a nine agi five agility. I'll try to grind out at least some gold golems. 
Hello, Googlom. <laughs> Um. No, de black lives definitely matter. Let's. Uh, it's. Uh, yeah, they do. Um. Let's see. Uh, whistle. Full pones. Let's go. Uh. Swoosh. And, uh, boom. Pop. Okay, well, yeah, these enemies are not quite as bad as they were. Just because we have a slightly better stuff. That's probably not actually gonna work, so let's just attack. And they're still all just attacking Jessica. Well, maybe. I've got I've got a feeling these the, the AI in this game reads your inputs and reacts to it on in real time. It feels like it because that middle bird like healed itself when it should definitely not have uh, been able to do that reactively. It's the same way uh, AI in uh, Pokemon Red and Blue does, like how like the AI will just like read your inputs and like some of the heart some of the higher end trainers in the game will use like potions retroactively instead of like attacking which in normal in, in modern Pokemon does not happen quite like that <laughs> I'm just trying to see if we can get some more some go more gold golems out here Ah, uh, we just get more of these assholes, though. Well, that was a clean sweep. Take that. I mean, the XP and stuff here isn't bad compared to where we, where we were. It's not great, but we're here for the gold golems. When they show up. When they want to show up. Which apparently the answer is not very often today. <laughs> Thank you, Goglum. Uh, I've got a bit of coffee left I gotta finish, actually. Little bastards flying around. Good thing these big birds are selfish.
Oh, Angelo's leveling up, which means Jessica will be leveling up soon, too. Oh, that's a good level up for Angelo. Priests don't usually get good level ups like that. Full heal, huh? Alright. Tap Devil drops a leather cape. Hey, that's more money. Cool. Not quite as much money as a gold golem gives, but it's at least it's a start. <laughs> We're trying to get an, an armor upgrade for the hero from Argonia, but we are uh, a little short on money. Uh, these are like the worst encounter to fight because they don't give good XP or money and they just kind of do a lot of damage for no real good reason. But what are you going to do? Running is not a good idea because they're fast too, so... Yeah, we just got to deal with them. Whistle's a really nice quality of life that I'm glad I was able to get earlier. Just because it lets us get into battles a lot faster. So many uh, foxes, and they're all in separate groups, too. Good thing Boom doesn't care. her level up. I knew it was pretty soon. Cause her and Angela are pretty spaced together, it seems like. Five skill points. Well. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I should be giving it, putting them to sex pill, because I don't know if that's actually, like, useful. So, it, yeah, oh, we'll, we'll do it anyway. I'm sure there's like some sort of boost they'll give her eventually. Let's see. Let's heal. Just trying to use a ball of Yangus's MP. Because everyone else usually uses it for battle. Yangus does not, because. Heal is not useful to use during battle at this point. Uh, these fuckers. And their shitty track pants.
Yeah, that's why I don't like them. They do shit like this. Obsessively. They themselves aren't dangerous, but their effects that their little dances can do are a pain in the ass. I am a little annoyed I haven't like, found very few gold golems so far. This is where they live! <laughs> and I usually find more of them in the time I've fought these battles. So it's just kind of a, a little a little annoying. I decided to just kind of stay home. They're playing- the gold golems are playing hooky. At least the battles are pretty fast. God damn it. I wish Swoosh hit all enemies. Shit house bird got destroyed. Drops a treasure chest, a strong medicine. Well, that's some more money, too, I guess. Um, hmm. That might be enough. We can go, we can go find out. And if it is, then we'll just stop doing this. <laughs> then actually continue with what we're supposed to be doing in the story. I'm just a little annoyed I found zero gold golems that time. Okay, leather cape, sell that. Um I'm gonna swear I got some like strong a strong medicine or two from somewhere. Well you it probably got to you somehow. Wait. Why is this strong medicine suddenly way more expensive? What? 
What? Why does this cost so much? Uh, that's, that seems odd. Let's, uh, make sure that wasn't, like, some sort of bug. I, I don't know why this costs so much now. It seems like it costs, like, triple the price. That seems a little, uh, weird, but we'll, we'll play ball with it. <clears throat> See, this stuff probably costs what it's supposed to, selling-wise. I'm not sure why this costs so much, because these are usually 88 a piece. Hmm. Well, it may not be full. I may not fully understand why, but we will um definitely not turn it. We will definitely not say no. There we go. Sweet. Well, that was cool, I guess. <laughs> don't know don't exactly know how or why those were co costed as much as they did. Kinda tempted to actually look that up. Maybe that's like a bug. Let's see. I guess there's some sort of like economy in um, this game with the uh, alchemy. Let's see. Okay, so there's a there's a pattern. Interesting. I was wondering what was going on with this. Okay, so I guess for uh, strong medicines, for first 29 you sell, you'll get the normal sell price. On the 30th to sell, the sale price will triple and remain for the next 20 you sell. So yeah, that explains why those were selling for triple. Okay, cool. And that's really interesting and a very niche kind of thing, but. Hey, it allowed me to buy the stuff I needed, so we're gonna, um, I'm glad we were able to, the timing was, was impeccable for that, let's just say that. <laughs> well, grinding done, let's uh, go ahead and uh, rest up at the uh, hilltop hut, because it's really cheap, and then we'll zoom back to um, Baccarat and continue this, the main story stuff. I just kind of like, I thought I, I thought I encountered a fucking bug. No, thankfully it's not a bug, it's a very small hidden mechanic just tucked away into the game somewhere for 
God knows why. Uh, we'll just save here too, because this is a really easy place to, to zoom to and like rest up and save for like ending the stream. This costs like 12 gold to use the inn, so there's almost no way you're not going to have that much money to rest. Let's continue now that we got we learn now that we learned a new thing about this fucking video game. <laughs> I had to dig through a, a game ethic a game FAQs thread. Let's see, how old is this thread? 14 years! Mm-mm-mm. I'm looking at this, uh... looking at the alchemy recipes now for uh Turns out making turbans in the long run is constantly more uh, money than the uh, the medicines. But with those that profit thing with medicines, that kind of uh, makes things a little uh, more interesting. Okay, well, so we'll keep doing the medicines thing because for for the foreseeable future, that's going to make us a lot more money. All right. Anyway. Little side tangent done. Let's go to back to uh, Baccarat and we're gonna try to head to these dark ruins. <sighs> I 
Actually, I think we can go back to the uh, <clears throat> Chateau Felix and get another uh, Saber Cat to ride. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Meow. Can we go in here now? No, that's okay. Oh, man, I'm inducted this leopard, leopard-legged motherfucker. Mostly experimenting on how this works. Like, can we zoom with this cat? No, you cannot. Well, whatever. We'll just we'll just try. That makes that a lot less useful. So we're just gonna head there on our Lamberfeeties. No, no speedy kitty to get us there, cause yeah, whatever. Uh oh, this seems a little out of place. Is that a fucking rooster? Well, that's not. Those are orcs. <laughs> A raging rooster appears. Oh, hello. Okay, so that ignores defense boosts, but... Raging Rooster destroyed. Sweet. Alright, cool, I guess. Onward! Let's 
expecting where we have to go is probably that way, but let's go to this other place. Cocktail or so. Uh oh. I didn't cross the bridge, so these are should be a mix of newer enemies. That's, that's typically what bridges do on Dragon Quest. They, they signify uh, you're entering a new uh, encounter table. Great Sabercats. Well, unfortunately, I lied. We're gonna have to fight these, cause... Yeah. Thank you, cow. <laughs> what in the hell are you? <laughs> Is this like a little sun with like a freaking orbiting planet? That's badass. I don't really like its grin, <laughs> but that's okay. On that note, let's see. Maybe a crack. Maybe a crack will do some good damage. Kind of, I guess. Oh, whatever it is, this it's dead. Kinda weird we only found one. The cow's following me. Or it was. Maybe it's really desperate to just give it its milk. This church was actually built as a place for traveling pilgrims to rest for the night. But I see no reason not to offer a bed to any traveler, pilgrim or not. Oh well, thank you. Well Let's see. Okay, let's see what, what facilities you have. Thick, beefy men! <laughs> if you follow the road in front of the church, you'll see this town called Baccarat. There's a really big casino there. There's something a bit weird going on. It used to be open every day of the year, but it's suddenly been shut down. Alright, no books that anyone gives a shit about. Nothing up here, it looks like. Alright. Hello, little man, little priest. I've not been able to sleep in a week since I saw it. I mean, no one expects to see a jester come running across the sea like that. 
He ran off along the shoreline, so he was probably heading for Baccarat. I just wish I could put the image out of my, my head. Maybe it was just some kind of phantom. No, Dual Magus is very real. Ooh, mini metal. Oh, free in? Hmm. Alright. Three points reach the next act. Let's go. Ooh, nice. Let's say you are dab hand with the old sword. You can't use the special skills you learn with that when you switch to another weapon. It just won't work. Well, not usually anyway. So it's something sometimes best best to hang on to your old weapon, even if you got gone and got yourself a new one. Then you can equip it with the time is right for the special skill you want to use. That's what the pros do. You see. I guess. Hello, round bishop. <laughs> I'll save here. We didn't save very far ago, but that's fine. Yeah, we'll probably end up, be, we'll probably end up raiding uh, Digi Dragon, because it looks like he's doing more, uh, <laughs> doing more pathologic, classic um, stress testing. Like he's, like he's trying to like, find like hit boxes to climb and ways to cheese things, which sounds pretty cool. Oh, slimes, huh? Uh, we're gonna defend and see if they turn into a king slime. Yeah, they're coming back up. That's probably what's happening here. Maybe? Oh, yep. Here they go. Yeah, there he is. Hello, friend. Oh, come on. The two, two failed 50-50s in a row? That's not fair. I'm mostly just goofing off, because we're literally right next to where we can heal anyway, so who cares? Alright, well... Interesting. Not as mighty as I thought they were going to be. King Slimes tend to command a little bit more uh, power to them than other DQs.
Uh, more more cut more roosters with their little dangly bits. Cocktail drops a treasure chest. A stone hard hat. Saber. Ooh. Alright. Probably the first time I've gotten a, a drop for more than one enemy in a battle. I've <laughs> gotta say, that's. a little different. See, I was assuming this, uh, Dark Ruins place would be, like... We're under, they're too scary. Uh, I'm assuming this Dark Ruins place would be, um... Up this way somewhere. But I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that the place we're looking for is not here. There is a chest though. some more herbs at some point soon because we're using we're just using them all to like we're just we're just using them all to make money Ooh, all right well I don't know if that was necessarily worth it coming out all this way out here for just that but Allegedly, he's on this island somewhere. Well, let's go back to the uh, Sea View Church at least. Mm. 
and we'll just rest again real fast and we'll take a closer look around. Sup, sister? Probably on the wrong island, aren't I? Maybe? I don't... Let's zoom to Baccarat and try to look from there. Oh wait, maybe I need... Oh, I have to go up there, don't I? I mean, they did say an island to the north. Well, alright, guess we're going that way. We gotta get to our ship. Which means we're probably gonna get into a fight or two, but that's okay. These enemies aren't too threatening. There are a lot of them, though. Oh, the birds are all dead. Well, that one battle is a pretty good amount of XP. Alright, let's let's get on this little ship here. <coughs> and we gotta head to the island to the north. At least I think that's where we gotta head. That's my guess, and hopefully we don't run into any scary things. Oh yeah, that that looks that place looks proper evil. We'll probably get in the right direction. Well, welcome back, Ventus. Hello. Ooh, critical hit. Are you feeling any better? Ah, oh, no, well. Hopefully I can at least keep you a little occupied. Aw, <laughs> oh, crap. Sorry, sorry, for that. sorry that you're feeling like that. Hopefully you can feel better soon. Let's see, we're... We're all, we're all he we're heading to I guess these dark ruins up here.
Hopefully we're not gonna get destroyed by whatever lives here, cause... Yeah. Oh, it's like we're like right next to some people here. Yeah, it's... yeah. Surely it's too dangerous to carry on pursuing this fiend. I mean, look at what he did to Golding. Huh? Who are you? Interesting. I thought there was no one on this island besides us and Golding's murderer. Let me give you a piece of advice. Steer clear of the old ruins in the middle of the island. Ignore me at your peril. You have been warned. My peril, oh no! Can I go on your ship? Why did that Jester have to choose such a spooky hideout? If it wasn't so creepy here, we wouldn't hesitate to go after him. Right. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go after him. Ooh, okay, we got some new, um... Ah, there's a slime island with the metal slimes. Good to know, I'll have to take a look. I love these spooky skeleton dudes. One of, the, one of the OG Dragon Quest designs from like the first game. I love them. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> right? Hmm. I feel like I was meant to come to this island a little sooner than I am currently. Oh. Just more drugs are done. Yangus, we have to cook. <laughs> we're just making a bunch. We're just endlessly making these, uh, strong medicines. Cause science, bitch. <laughs> we're, we're endlessly just making these strong medicines. Cause apparently, after you sell like 29 or 30 of them, the price of them uh, triples for a while. Yeah, when you, when you sell 29 of them, after the 20, after the 29 for the 30th will sell for like triple, and the next uh, 20 will on the 50th item will return to normal. And I think the cycle repeats. Oh wait, no, it will. It, 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 after the thirtieth, um, after the fiftieth, um, on the fiftieth, they'll return to like the permanent price, and which is interesting because like it's weird that they have like a weird hidden system like that for these. So for now, we're just gonna be making uh, still making strong medicines that like, add to our uh, money. Alright, well, looks like if we hook it right up here past this tree. Hmm. Well, I, I can definitely tell you now, though, I, I was I was trying to get money to get the uh, silver mail in Argonia, and I came back and I was like, okay, I think I might have enough money, and I was seeing that the uh, strong medicines were selling for like two sixty four dollars piece, so I think that part of it might be in it, or maybe these always sell for that much now, I don't know. Cause normally they're like 88, if I'm not mistaken. Uh. Anyway, let's fight. Let's fight some skeletons. Get bonked a few more times. <laughs> yep, I'm preparing for it. <laughs> I 
unless they just get wiped out by this. Oh, one of them did. Wait, did I surprise attack them? I was not even paying attention. Alright, well. Bonk. Yeah, I have a feeling I was meant to come to this island much sooner with a lot worse gear than I did. Because, yeah, we're, these enemies are not a problem at all. Gabba! <laughs> Hello, 3Gs. Welcome back. We're, we're doing plot things with mushroom mages. Mushroom tip. How in hell did Yangus outspeed Hero? You know what? Whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Yangus is the slowest party member by a decent margin. Let's see. Agility 50, 69. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, there's no reason why Yangus should have went before Hero did. That that's that's a little silly. Soldiers. Yeah, it's a pretty low stakes fight, so I'm not going to use very many resources if I can help it. Nice, a level up. 14 HP. Oh, wait, oh yeah, I think his skill I think his skill points starting to go back up what he gets per level. Cause last level he got like four, now he got five. So yeah, we can get another axis level. Comes an axe fighter. Land chances of landing a critical hit with an axe increases. Alright, cool. Da 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 Alright, let's see what spooky shit we're getting ourselves into now. Go, Magus! Stinky little clown. Well, there it goes. Shadow meld or some shit, I don't know. I thought I saw a chest in here from the corner of my eye. I did, but they are apparently empty. Oh, these might not be empty. Yeah, ba- oh baby. Give. So this feels like it was once a, uh, a town or a kingdom or something, but it's a little fucked up now. Where are the enemies? Where are the enemies? Are there no enemies here? Whistle should have definitely ha made some ha enemies happen if there were. Huh. The stone monument has a shallow recess with worms inscribed beneath it. Here a dark history lies sealed. Only a magical light can break the dark aura entombing it. Interesting. Well, I guess let's go into the shadowy abyss. <laughs>
Oh, now you fuckers want to show up, huh? We are employed by Mr. Golding, the owner of the Baccarat Casino. Should I say he used to be employed? See, Mr. Golding was murdered by the Jester. We're under orders to avenge his death, that's why we're here. When you all set off so bravely, we decided it was time we did the same. So, perhaps you could fill us in. Hmm, I see. The dark aura coming out of the ruins is some kind of barrier set up by Dulmagus, is it? So we have to break through that before we can fight him then. But how? How do you break through darkness? Ah, wait a minute. How about the magic mirror of Argonia? People say that can dispel the dark. You never know, it might do the trick. If I remember rightly, Argonia's off to the southeast of Baccarat, isn't it? All right, so now we can go to Argonia and actually do story stuff, I guess. No, I don't know. I don't know where you even zoomed. I was pressing the wrong button, so I guess we're gonna find out. A surprise. Where'd, where'd we end up? Oh, the very first town. Well, that's fun. Um, <laughs> I was going to look at the map, see if I could find where that slime island is. Hmm. Hum, indeed. I guess it's either to the south of Neos or it's to the southwest. Let's 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 explore a little. Cause with Yangus I have Hatchet Man already and well, that gives me a 50-50 shot of just killing a metal slime if it doesn't run away, so I think I have at least a chance of killing one now. It's, it's still a pretty low chance, but it's a, a much higher chance than what I had before. No gold golem, so I was hoping to get at least like one, because I, I figured we're going to get at least a encounter on the way to the ship. Just these assholes. Jerkensteins. Twenty one GP having asses. Let's head down here. As long as I don't get my, as long as I don't get destroyed by those ocean creatures around here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tentacular is a little bit of a hurtful dude. Um. This could go poorly.
Thankfully, there's only one. Oh, sweet Jesus. Frankly, I think I'm, I, I think I've lucked out because I was expecting them all just to try, pile and try to kill Jessica because she's got like the lowest HP by a good margin and just kind of yeah. But I think at this point we're safe. Oh, that one's dead. That's the one I was worried about. Okay, we survived. Well, damn, that one... <laughs> that was a good amount of XP by itself, so I might be on the right track thinking that might be a good island to grind on. Maybe. Alright, Yangus. Heal, please. All right, let's try it. Let's let's keep going. All right, let's see what island this is. I suppose. Well, let's kind of well let's let's uh, stay close to the ship and like oh well I was gonna say whistle but oh these. Okay, this island's not doesn't seem like it's a uh We've seen these all, enemies all before, so It's probably not this island. Bonk. <laughs> It is an awful lot of enemies, though. Did a bit of a gamble, hoping they wouldn't all pile on Jessica. Cause she she would get killed pretty easily. Probably not now, but like, yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, you have mid heal? Gross. Well, whatever. They're not very threatening anyway, so it's fine. A lot of good that mid heal did you, bud.
I'm guessing it's not this island where the metal slimes live, considering there's, you know, other shit here. Puppet player drops a treasure chest. Oh boy, a medicinal herb. <laughs> that being said, that was a pretty beefy fight. Well, let's uh, try going to a different island <laughs> instead. I think there was like one to the west that might be more in our uh, interests. Maybe? I don't know. It seems pretty landlocked, so maybe you won't be able to get into it. Oh, these guys! Like this, 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 this literal encounter again. King Squid drops a chest. Strong medicine. Alright, well, cool, I guess. <clears throat> I've got a feeling that, not, that that way is not going to be a viable way to get up to this island, if at all possible. So, we're going to... Um, maybe try to approach from the south instead. And if it really comes to it, then we'll just zoom away and try again later, when we're not as shit house. This also just might be a place that you can't come to yet. Hard to say, I'm playing this game as blind as possible. Other than like, if I have to look up specific things about how about where to go from where I was at previously. Because I had found Argonia before I found Baccarat, and that's the literal opposite order of what you're you're supposed to find them in. Because if we look at the map, I'll, I'll kind of like show where we were meant to go. Like we were like, let me see, will the mouse show up? No, it won't. Mouse, mouse probably won't show up. Nope, it won't, so. Basically from that um, continent on the right, we were meant to head uh, west and probably either around the south bend and up to the left part of the map. Or through the, like that, through that little uh, gap there between the two mount, the two uh, 
the, the kind of like middle northwest island and then the one below that. But when I started going that way, I found these um, tentaculars that beat my ass to a pulp, so we didn't do that. <laughs> The King Kelp is here! King Kelp is no longer here! <laughs> like, let's see, we got a waterfall here, that's kinda cool. Nah, it's not it's not shallow enough for us to get up there. Man of war, huh? All right. Oh, those aren't very strong at all. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, not bad XP for what for what it was, but yeah, those weren't very uh, threatening. No, we can disembark on this piece of land, or for what it's worth. Ah, it's this small island. Well, I guess we can just check if this is the uh, metal slime island. No, it is not. Battle beetles, though, interesting. I don't know how fucked I am yet. I don't know if these are like really strong or something. Oh, you think that's uh, the one I'm on right now? Oh, those beetles don't seem very threatening, so I could probably just kind of look around anyway, one way or another. There are little kitties here. Hello, kitty. Oh, there's a sea angel down there. Oh, there's king slimes. That's a good sign. I'm glad I healed her, because that could have got dicey. Oh, and what am I doing? I can just whistle. Hmm. Well, there's uh, another King Slime.
Yeah, I had a feeling that King Slime's AI is set to just target the person with the lowest stats. Which what is Jessica? <laughs> Or maybe not, I don't know. Well, the XP isn't really that bad here either way, even if this is not really the slime out. I don't even know, I haven't seen, I've seen King Slimes. So that's like not like the, ooh, full heal. Nah, I, it's been a while since Hero learned something. from, uh, like a spell. At this point, I should probably just start buying tons of herbs to, to just map use for this healing stuff that I like to do. Because they're very cheap at this point. Toxic zombie. Me too. Don't you fucking do that, jerk ass. Right now, this battle's gonna last another turn. Those were annoying. Uh, do I have enough antidotes to just use? Probably. I don't think poison's really that dire anyway, because it, it, it might just affect whenever you run around, which in that case I'm just using whistle anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. Venom wasps, oh, they look look interesting um all right of course they're split into like 10 different groups why wouldn't they be God damn it, Angelo.
I'll just have Jessica use Catechist, because this fight's about, o about over anyway. And Catechist doesn't use MP. At this point, I just want to find, like, one Metal Slime here. Um, well, unfortunately so far, I've found zero. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, we'll still keep finding some stuff anyway. Maybe I just haven't found it yet. It's entirely possible that they're just really rare. I mean, otherwise, the XP here is pretty good. All, all things considered. And I would say buying herbs to just use for grinding here wouldn't be the worst idea, because we get enough money back. Hmm. Sometimes we get fights like that where it's literally just a free win. Hmm. Can I get down there to that? Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's when you move around that you get the uh, poison damage. So let's just not do that, shall we? Those are easy. <laughs> Another really good level up for Angelo, actually. Well, that was basically free, so let's do another. Ugh. I don't know if these things even attack, so we're not going to even bother with Kabuff. It seems like they're mostly just interested in poisoning, poisoning us, which most of us are already poisoned anyway, so... If they do that, that's just a waste of a turn on their part.
Yeah, they're, they're, these are uh, not hard. It might be the other island <laughs> at this point. I would I, I would suspect I would have found a uh, metal slime at this point uh, by now, but eh, I don't know. Not like it's really been a, that big of a waste of time or anything, because well, we have gotten XP and money out of it, and it was kind of fun just kind of milling around trying to like find stuff. So no harm, no foul. Slime crow would be cool. I'm guessing that's what comes from the king slimes. Any metal, sli metal slimes here? Um, they're very uncommon. It, se it would seem. Kind of like one herb that I don't want to use because then I'll have to reorganize my bag. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um. Hello, Neki. Welcome. We're all poisoned, and we're just fighting these poison zombies right now. Cause I was, I was kind of checking out some of the uh, other islands around the map, seeing if I could find like the metal slime place. But this may not be it, cause I haven't seen a single one yet. I do know that at Castle Chordain you can find liquid metals, so I might like rest and then go back there and see if I can find some of them instead. Bonk. See, we're, we're getting stuff out of it, even if there aren't metals here. 
Ooh, that's a lot of MP. Good amount of HP too, surprisingly. Insulator, ooh. Good, that's good against uh, breath attacks. Well, I think on that note, we're going to uh, zoom probably to, um, hmm. Our hilltop hut here. Five seconds ahead, just just like I like him. Yeah, it sucks whenever you like raid someone or click someone's stream and then it gives you like a fucking like 30 second ad about something that you don't even care about. It's like, uh I mean good for the streamer to get that little bit of Bezos money or whatever, but like, ugh. It's unpleasant to have to sit through that shit. Alright, hello, Mr. Bullcut. I mean, we got a good amount of money from just the grinding there, although there's nothing currently to spend it on. Other than, like, a bajillion more herbs, because I've been using them, I was using them to heal at that island place. Thanks for the hydrate, bud. I actually have something that's not coffee for once, because, well, the coffee's gone. <laughs> but. I have like some like stuff from like dinner last night, like I had like a lemonade from Wendy's that I didn't fully finish so I'm kind of polishing it off now. Hey that's okay. Uh, we'll save, just cause might as well, there's a save spot right here. If I'm not mistaken, we're all at least level 25 now, which might be a little over level for this part of the game that we're technically supposed to be doing, but eh, whatever. I was kind of just wanting to grind out some XP. I thought I found like where the metal slimes live, but I guess not, but I know where uh, liquid metals might live, so we're going to try to pay them a visit. See if we can get some, get get lucky. Hey, that's okay. Thanks for stopping in. Good luck at work. I'm like ninety nine percent sure that like. Metal slimes can live around here. Maybe not out in the courtyard like this. But like... Rude. But I think I, but I think like in here and like inside of one of the like the corridors is where I found the only liquid metal I've seen. Like I think it was out, out through this door. Like in this like general area here is where I found it. So we might try to just kind of whistle here for a little bit. And if not, we can just fight these things, which are probably not going to be very hard. Well, damn, you got a lot more HP than I remember. <laughs> Stinky Dragonthorn. Oh, yeah, there's an herb. <laughs> cool, I guess. Will and weeds. And these aren't very uh, threatening. The XP is a fair bit lower than what we were just at, but if, if we find a if we find and kill a liquid metal slime, 
That won't matter. Like, it, that won't matter whatsoever. These battles are very easy, so I can just con don't have to worry about healing much. <clears throat> it's like a small trickle of XP until I find this liquid metal that. We'll probably run away anyway, but that's fine. There might be other places they exist, and I might, I might just look that up while we're this next uh, encounter is happening. I guess they do show up here, but I guess there's a place west of the Royal Hunting Ground where they show up much more often, so we might, uh, change tactics. I'll still see if I can find one here, because I found, I found one before. <clears throat> and these enemies are very easy to deal with anyway, so it's... I like I'm losing much by just kind of spending some time here. Good job, Will and Weed. <laughs> it really tried.
Yeah, that's the one downside to fighting these stuff here is that these dragon thorns can actually hurt. That's obnoxious. Whatever. Dragonthorn drives up an herb, yay! Okay, yeah, this game was before they had, um, Magical Might and Magical, um, Magical Might and, um, uh, <clears throat> the other spell, the other stat for healing, Mist uh, Mending Might, or, I don't know, I, I can't remember what the stats are called in the other games, and, like, the newer ones, but, they're, it's not just in 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 intelligence anymore, I don't think, in newer Dragon Quests. Okay, we're probably just gonna leave <laughs> after this, because I guess there's supposed to be a place west of the hunting ground, wherever that is, that is um, a much better rate for metal slimes. And if that's kind of like what we're going for, then there's no reason to really hang around in places that are worse. It just seems silly. Oh, come on, really? Punk ass. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just uh evac. I have an idea. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's the the top right corner of the map where that uh, metal slime island is. It will, I will try that after I uh, rest here at this place. Might as well. <laughs> this is a very. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you last time. Kind of, kind of surprised I didn't see you. I mean, look at ya. I used to work at the castle there, but I quit because I wanted to come work in the casino. Now, if only they'd hire me. I took Born and Simpleton off my resume, so I'm in, uh, so I'm in with a shot. <laughs> well, neat. Sixteen gold. That's. Very cheap. Yeah, I definitely was meant to probably come here before going anywhere, anywhere near Argonia. Now that we're a little stronger, I'm not as scared of um, going into the ocean with those tentaculars, because I can just use Kabuff and we'll probably be fine. Because they hurt, but, like, you know, it's cool. Alright, where's the boat? Up the hill and around the corner, I think. Yeah, like, up this way. I first thought those, those were the turtles, but I don't think they're turtles. Oh, cockatiers.
Oh, they're dead, so cool. Considering how close this is to, yeah, we'll, we'll go back into town and buy some herbs because I'm I need to because I ran out basically. Because I'm gonna start trying to use herbs as like my uh, main healing thing if I'm out and about. Because at this point they're very cheap. So it doesn't really matter if I use them for healing. But earlier on in the game when money is a lot harder to come by, you definitely don't want to be just using herbs willy nilly for healing when you can pay like probably the same price for an in uh, for an herb at an end stay and heal everyone. And MP, you know. But now herbs can be just a nice way to kinda heal on the go. Plus, we can just turn them into strong medicines otherwise, so it's not like really wasting buying them anyway. I wish you could buy more than nine at a time, though. That's, um, a little annoying. That's another quality of life thing they did with in DQ9 is you can just buy as many as you possibly can, like... Granted, the alchemy pot was, uh, not, um, one item at a time, so I think, like, they just did a whole bunch of, like, bulk buying stuff in that game. I'm, I'm not going to buy too many more than that, because that's plenty. <laughs> and as is, we currently can't even, like... Like, we currently don't even have, um... Anything to spend money on. What we can do is store the extra money we have. In case I, in case I goof off and, like, uh, die somewhere. Sweet. Alright, let's we're gonna go check that island out in the top right corner of the map. It's kinda like hidden off up to top, very small and kind of like seems very like, hey, don't notice me. I'm just a small little island. I have nothing on me, hee hee hee. So I'm uh, I'm suspecting that might be the metal slime island actually. But we'll find out. Jumping j jumping jackals! How did literally everyone move before, almost everyone move before freaking Jessica? That's, that's silly. Well, never mind. I was gonna try getting an easy heal with Catechus, but we killed it too fast. I guess since there's like 30 minutes left in the stream, we might as well just do stuff like this. We're gonna sail off in this direction and try to loop around the other side of the map. King Kelp! Oh, 
they weren't very threatening, were they? Hello, Ventus. <laughs> Welcome back. If you left, that is. Hey, that's fine. I'm all, I'm all for people lurking and just hanging out. Fuck you, birds. I'm, cur I'm currently investigating a very small island in the top right corner of the map that I did not uh, notice previously. If the game will let us, like, loop around to the other side of the map, that is. I would imagine it would, because literally all Dragon Quests let you do that, usually. But I guess we'll find out. Bottom left? Hmm, okay. Oh! Oh, you're good. Oh, you're all good. I was gonna check out this island that was like the, the top right of the map. Because it's on the map. It's actually on the map, but... It does seem like there's an unmarked island down there that we'll be going trying to find at least. But we got these things first. The Calamari Kids! Sweet. Tentacles! Japanese schoolgirl's nightmare. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could say that. Yeah, the, the blue the blue king squids can, can attack twice, but the the, tenta the tentaculars always attack twice. So yeah, they're a little a little beefy. Mid heel and catechus. Perfect. I love it when a plan comes together. The calamari kid drops a treasure chest. Water, mo water weed mold. Cool. Thanks. I guess. All right. Well, in that case, let's uh turn to the north and go down the map. I guess. Pigma, pigma lions, pigma, <laughs> pigma balls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
I don't know what they are, so we're gonna just kinda do scorched earth tactics, like. Alright, they're probably not that dangerous. I mean, that encounter was good XP at the very least. some more north to go to. Poison Evils and Anchorman! <laughs> That's not fun. Well, that's annoying. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to mute real fast and use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. Let's see, are we, are we at the bottom of the map yet? No? Damn. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, let's do that.
Hello, Achiko. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. It's nice seeing you. We're trying to get to the Metal Slime Island that's on the bottom, like, bottom left corner of the map. I guess it's an unmarked island, and we're just kind of trying to get there. It's, I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> we're just sailing around the ocean. Oh, hello, Abyss Diver. You look terrifying. Uh, let's, uh, do our best to kill you immediately. Let's see. Boom, go. Alright, the best diver wasn't as dangerous as I thought it was going to be. Stop calling friends! You're not supposed to have friends! <laughs> Yeah, this game this game's music is real good. Like like the music in DQ9 is good. The, I mean the music in Dragon Quest is good. It's it's a shame that the uh, composer for this music, who thankfully is dead now, was a was a raging bigot. But that's fine, he's dead. So yeah. By raging, we had me. He's like a he was like a rising sun kind of guy, <laughs> which uh, yeah 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 no. Oh, we got some Rene power powder. So now I don't have to feel quite as bad about enjoying Dragon Quest music because um, he's yeah it's. Mm, well, the author is very dead. <laughs> he's like he's dead dead like he died like a year or so ago so hopefully um, in newer stuff somebody makes music that's just as good so that we can like uh, not be reminded of him um, let's heal after that battle thankfully that battle wasn't very fierce it, was, it, was a little, it, was, it looked scarier alright I'll take a drink Gulp, gulp, gulp. <laughs> Are we finally in the bottom of the map? We fi we're finally at the bottom of the map, so let's start. Oh, I see something. Oh, uh, these are annoying. Can we can we run? No, they're, they're behind us still. Oh, no. I should pro I probably should have just um fought them. I mean they're not very threatening. I just didn't really want to deal with them because they don't take much damage. That's a lot. That's an awful lot. Okay, we got some of them to run away. Actually, most of them. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Angelo and Jessica are cursed. 
this turn, so they can't move. Which is annoying, but, you know, whatever. I should have just fought them. They're not, like, really dangerous or anything anyway. They're more fierce than they- they look more fierce than they actually are. I'm lazy, so I, I could've probably used like some MP to l make that take less time. But, eh, I was lazy. Cool, whatever. Alright. I see this island over here. I'm assuming this is the island that we're looking for. Apparently I got like 12 minutes to do stuff on this island before I'll probably have to leave anyway, because stream ending time or whatever, but... Yeah. Oh, poison evils. Oh, no. <laughs> Super throw. Swoosh and boom. Rude. Finally! Well, well, they're dead. Nice. Well. Let's see if we can finally make it to this damn island. <laughs> I probably want like the I probably want like the worst possible way to get here. Cuz I'm mm, Probably not actually. It's probably just this place just seems like it's kind of just annoying to get to anyway. But that's fine. These enemies are cool. They're just a little spooky looking. Almost there. <laughs> I can practically taste it. <laughs> Hopefully, this will be worth it. Probably not, but that's fine.
Yeah, this place just isn't even marked on the map at all. Oh, uh, well, I guess let's just whistle a little bit. See who shows up. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Not who I expected to be here, but... That's fine. Well, let's just see who else shows up. More of these! Oh, all type of slime zero. Okay. Nice. Well, the King Slams probably aren't going to merge together at this point, because we're just clobbering stuff a little fast. Can't really complain, the cannon boxes give decent money per kill, and they're very easy at this point, so... Let's see. Oh, just more slimes! Oh, uh, well... We'll just run from them, because they're not very, uh, worth our time. Oh, hello! That's one of the ones we're here for, but they're probably gonna run away. I don't really have anything other than th than a hatchet man to really do anything to them with, either. Oh, you didn't! Okay! Well, we got, like, a 50-50 shot when Yangus goes to kill this thing. And we missed, so it's probably going to run away now. Still probably worth more worth our time than anything else, really. Because, yeah. Well, let's try again. Metal Slimes are great, yeah. They're, they're awesome. we got like six more minutes where we can just try to find some more friends. Oh, they're very happy to see me, because they want to eat me, but you know what, that's fair. The, the chest is... yeah, they're great. Oh, hey, we got a friend and uh, more friends. <laughs> uh, oh, it was an oomph, yeah. I love how goofy the little chests are. Well, let's see if we get the, the, the liquid metal. We did! We got him. That's gonna be a lot of XP. Alright, let's see how much though. 10,205. Yes! And that's why you kill these things. Six skill points. Courage increases. Learns. Oh, now you know Zoom. Cool. All right. Well, level up for you too, Angelo. And level up for her as well. Sweet. Jessica's sex appeal increases. Those around Jessica start to realize just how sexy she can be. Some monsters also begin to realize how sexy- oh god. <laughs> well, as kind of weird and cringy as that is, that may make some monsters show up and be like enamored by her presence and they won't act, which might make the metal slime thing easier to- <laughs> the metal slimes easier to deal with, so. Cool. 
Oh, there's another one. All right, yeah, this is definitely a place to come to grind XP. Like 100%. Um, sure. Uh, oh, that guy's gone. They usually run away a lot sooner than they have been. Oh. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm hoping happens to the Metal Slimes sometimes. Because it just lost its turn because Jessica exists on the battlefield. Like, just by her existing in the fight at all, the thing just lost its turn, so. Oh, a Mimic! Okay, that's a little. Sc they're a little scarier. So, we might not be using uh, Oomph this time. Oh, it's got MP MP now. That's uh, annoying. It might have like an instant death spell or something it'll use. Maybe. I don't know. I might be blowing it up. I might be uh, blowing things out of proportion a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I think I was just taking them a little too seriously. Oh, once you get here, the MP usage is pretty low. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Frizzle! Big fireball. Okay, yeah, that's... Those aren't bad. Ooh. Oh, well, that, I mean, it is a box. I guess that makes a little sense why they it would have, you know, a nail as its drop. Hmm. All right, well. This is probably the last fight, because, yeah, it's it's 11 now, so we'll, we'll go somewhere else to, like, save and all that stuff after this fight. Yeah, if I want to grind XP, I'm definitely coming back here. Like, 100%. Uh, we'll just go to, um... We'll go here. It's not as cheap. Actually, it's pretty cheap still to go to the inn. And it's the, it's the closest place probably to get to this spot. If we, change, if we do decide we want to do this near the end, start the next stream. So, yeah, let's uh, go to the inn here. This place has a casino, but it's currently closed because, well, story things. But I'm guessing at some point we'll be able to come here and, um, waste all of our money at the casino. <laughs> we can also store money here that we just earned from fighting all that stuff anyway. Come here, hey kiddo. You want some gold? Thanks, kid. Off we go. We're gonna save, and then that's gonna be the end of today's stream. Got, got a good amount of stuff done. Actually, did some story stuff, surprisingly, because I was kind of stuck at the end of the last stream, but then I kind of looked up where the place that I was supposed to go be going to, which is here, actually, this town. I looked up where it was, and then... It's like, oh, I have to actually sail there instead of like, going over the continent. But that's fine. It's it's all all's well that ends well. I ex I exercised to the best of my ability to try to find this place on my own, and then I just looked it up after. So it's all good. 
All's well that ends well. All right. Oh, great and compassionate goddess, please grant this child a peaceful respite. Uh, this game came out in 2005, I want to say? I mean, we'll be able to see because we'll just go back to the title screen after all this. Uh, let's see. 2000, uh, 2004, Japan, 2005, uh, US. Google our savior. Sweet. Yeah, for a PS2 game, it's a really nice looking PS2 game. Like, PS2 was low powered, but it, it made it work. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. All right. Well, thank y'all so much for coming by. I appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate y'all showing up. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing more Tales of Arise starting at 7, my normal time. And, um, uh, Wednesday we'll probably, we'll, unless something happens, we'll probably do more of that digging game, Hydraneer. And then Saturday, unless something happens, I'll be doing another big stream day like I have been doing, so... If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you next time. But before that, let's see if we can put a raid on someone. And thank you for being here, Neki. Um, probably if if uh, Diddy Dragon's live, I'll probably be stream uh, raiding him because pathologic stuff. I don't really get it, but that's fine. A friend in need is a friend indeed, and we're gonna yeah we're gonna raid Digi. So sweet. All right, so I'm gonna end my stream. I'll be raiding into Digi Dragon Seven. Say hi, t say hi for me when you get there. <laughs> you don't think we even fully? That's okay. That's totally fine. But yeah, I'm gonna stop the stream and then we'll start the raid. See you there.